Hey, Elijah. Uh, you know, the, can you talk about the process since you committed and since you signed with Florida State and then having to wait to get here this summer? Like, what did you do during the spring? Were you um, able to do any kind of workout stuff that they suggested? Or how have you been kind of handling things since since you signed? Um, since I signed, I stayed in contact with the strength and conditioning coaches. Coach Lanier sent me some stuff to do while I was at home, knowing I wasn't able to come down. Um, I made sure I did my own personal training, too, outside of just what FSU wanted me to do, make sure I stay on top of things, just to get ahead of the game. But, you know, I work extremely hard knowing that I'm missing out on things that the team is doing. So I push myself always. Yeah. Good to add one. Elijah, for you, when did, like, recruiting really start kind of heating up for you and, and the dream of wanting to play elite-level college football, when did that start materializing for you, and how did you go about pursuing it? Um, I would say that my love of football really started when I was young, but I always said I want to go to the NFL, I want to go to the NFL, but once I really learned the game, like, I got to middle school, it was about college football now. So I would say, like, my eighth grade year when I started doing, like, route trees and learning different type of releases, I studied more college game and. I kind of got more inspired by football more than just the NFL. What was it about Florida State that made you want to come here, and what has been your favorite thing about being here so far? It sounds bland, but I like um, to me like when people ask me like why, why I choose Florida State, I just say like they check all the boxes. And what I mean by check all the boxes is like outside of just like football, like my major, school, how I'm living uh, on the campus, the people around the campus, um, my peers around me. Um, Florida State just checked all the boxes. When I went to other schools, like it just it didn't have the same feel that Florida State had. Every time I came here, it felt like home. Coach Navell always treated me like a son of his. All the coaching staff make sure I'm good. So I felt comfortable being here because I know all the boxes are checked. I don't have to worry about anything but being successful. We've got two on Zoom here. We'll start with Chris Nee. Hey, Elijah. I hope you're good, man. Um, what have you learned from the receiver group? Obviously, you got some veteran guys in there, but also some of them are new, like Malik Benson, who's a transfer. What have you guys kind of learned together during these summer months? Um, basically, mostly what they've been teaching me since these summer months is just to take my time and really tap in with the playbook because mainly the strength and conditioning and the training and the running and conditioning, you know, I'm not from this part of the, uh, the country, you know, so I'm, I'm getting used to the heat and stuff like that, but they said that stuff's going to come. The main thing to focus on is the playbook because that's how I'm going to get on the field. And there's a lot of opportunity for me to play this year, so that's what I'm focusing on, playbook, make sure I can get out there. Logan? Elijah, how much in this recruitment did it happen from the watching Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson, the success that they had with this offense under Ron Dugans and Mike Norvell? How much did that go into your recruitment, seeing the success that they had? <sighs> that was a big part of um, – my my reasoning for picking up FSU as far as offense and like seeing how their receiver style playing with me, with me being a bigger receiver, having two guys um, on Florida State that are thriving that are my size and above, it kind of helped inspire me and open up a galley a galley way for me. You know what I'm saying? So with them going to the draft, I'm another big receiver coming in, and probably one of the biggest we have right now. So I had a big role to fill, and I can take that spot and make it make it mine. So. They were a big inspiration for me, seeing them be successful, getting first-round draft picks, thriving in the offense with the running game and the passing game. So that's 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 exciting for me to see, be able for Coach Navelle to be able to do that with big receivers, just changing the game. So, besides those guys, are there other receivers you 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 watch and you like and kind of see yourself playing in a similar style? Yeah, I like to watch big receivers too, but I also like to watch like route runners. So like. Somebody from my area is like Stephon Diggs. I like to watch Justin Jefferson. I like to watch Devontae Adams, um, even Keenan Allen. Like I like I like route running a lot, so I try to incorporate that in my game because being a big receiver, everybody expects you to just be tall, lanky, jump ball. So I got to throw something in my game that makes me different from everybody else. I guess you really got to be a dog to want to play receiver here because there's like 20 of you guys on scholarship. So are you gonna do you embrace? the fact that you're going to have to be dialed in to every rep you get because it's going to be so few and far in between, or can you not think that way and will that jam you up and not let you play the best you can? Uh, it sounds crazy, but that's exactly where I want to be. I want to be able to be pushed. I want to be able to have to work to get somewhere. I don't want anything to be handed to me. I feel like I'll get my best self if I have to work for my spot and pay attention to every rep, mental reps, outside of just being on the field, playbook when I go home, outside of meetings. and It helped me, helped me be my, a better self for real. So I, I like that, the push in the edge in the, in the room. Zach on Zoom. Hey, Elijah. Um, what kind of impact do you think you can 
have within this offense in year one? Um, I feel like I can help the offense very much because I'm, I feel like I'm bringing that, personally, I feel like I'm bringing that big receiver back with us losing Johnny and Keon. We got a couple guys, but as far as like height-wise goes, I want to tall it, so I want to make that known to college football that I'm another big receiver that's coming in to take over the game with Mike Bell's offense. We can run, throw, pass. We got Malik, we got Ja'Kai, we got Weezy, we got these fast guys, we got speed. That's one thing we don't have to question. So if I can hop in there with the speed and the height and the catching ability, the route running, I feel like that go for a championship. Logan? Elijah, you're already coming in with some good size here, but you're listed at uh, 6'4", 200. Is there any is there any plan for Coach Torrance with you to work on your body, any add weight, or anything of that nature? Yeah, so I'm on game train right now. Um, I told him I want my weight to be like super high. He was like, you know, it, it goes gradually. You're gonna learn. You're going It's gonna come. You know, with college, you're gonna go into your body. So we're shooting for like 215 right now for camp. Uh, our goal is 220, but you know, he want me to be a, a, a fast 215. So right now I'm at 207. I came in at 197. So we're moving pretty fast, but. The main thing is running on my form and making sure I'm moving good at that weight, you know what I'm saying? Not just bulking up, being able to still be smoothing my routes, still be able to get out in and out my breaks. So that's the main focus for these college DBs, being fast and big, both together. Have you had a chance to run routes at all, like on your informal stuff with any of the corners of the DBs? And, and what's that been like? Do, do they challenge you as a freshman or, or kind of what's that been like? Yeah, so they, they always, when I, my first day came in, you know, they were kind of nice guy to me, you know, saying, make sure I know how to do everything. But I made sure to let them know, like, look, I was like, I'm, wanna, I'm coming in with the mindset I want to play my first year. So when we in practice, I don't need everything from you guys. Like, I talked to AZ, I talked to C2. Like, I told them guys, like, I need you guys to push me, like, because I want to dominate these other cornerbacks that we go against in the ACC and the SEC. So it's fun playing with them. I like being pushed. It, it brings the best out of me. So, like. I embrace that. It's like just now where I was coming from, we did a little bit of releases after uh, weight training. You know, we get releases here and there. We go with DJ, we go throw. Corner Max might be out there. We get a little bit of one on one, a little bit of soft reps. It, it's, it's, really, it's really good for me. I think it's going to help me push me for the season. I was going to ask you about DJ and the other quarterbacks. Um, you know, obviously everybody talks about DJ's deep ball, yeah. um, but what, what have you seen from him and, and the quarterbacks since you've been? Um, I've seen a lot from DJ. Uh, I actually watched DJ all through high school and college. He actually played my high school when I was in eighth grade. So I've been watching DJ for a long time, but i just seen like him develop like throughout college football. And like being able to play with him is, is crazy to me because I remember being in middle school watching him play high school. So now that I'm catching passes from him, it's like I can't mess up either. You know what I'm saying? But like I think he's very talented, especially with his throw on the run and the ability to really get the ball downfield. Like with us having a lot of speed, and like me being a bigger receiver, I feel like we can take advantage of that and like we can help DJ out as far as receiver wise, you know, make him look, you know what I'm saying? Give him that chip on his shoulder. He can really go crazy. Think you're good. Thanks, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Of course, thank you. Yeah, you're good. Appreciate you. Of course.